Excuse the mess. Hey guys, I thought I'd show you the supplements that I take. Haven't had anything, I'm fasting right now. Got some zinc, some L-cartonine, L-carnitine. This is for reproductive health, a la Huberman. Omega-3 fish oil tablets. Some Fedoja Crestus with Tonga Ali. Again, Dr. Huberman's recommendation for healthy testosterone some more tonga ali but i think it's still within all the recommended doses and vitamin c i usually take but it looks like i've run out this is pretty much what i take if i remember to do so yep so i came to a local cafe pretty hip place i do most of my deep work in the morning when i wake up um, but sometimes in the afternoon I like to edit like this video and other videos I'll be doing some editing in the cafes Obviously, you know when you work you get super hungry So I had to order some, you know lemon pistachio cake. It looked absolutely delicious Sometimes you gotta have the cake. You gotta enjoy yourself. You want something you crave something you gotta just get it because there's more to life than losing weight and being on a diet all the time, all right? <laughs> Anyways, so this is a market I go to all the time. I buy fish and we're gonna make some salmon nigiri, which is one of my favorite, favorite foods to have in the restaurant. But also it's super easy to make if you know a couple hacks, like if you, if you buy um, pre-made Japanese like sushi vinegar, Four o'clock, so I f and I had the cake around three, which means I fasted about eight hours today since waking up. I woke up, even did jujitsu around eleven, didn't eat anything, and then yeah, like eight hours of fasting, seven hours of fasting. So I'm gonna show you what I make for lunch. I do this very often. It's one of the simplest but most delicious things you can do, especially if you like sushi and it's making salmon nigiri at home. Things that I'm showing you, by the way, it's something that I do quite often. It's not just like, oh, let me just do this for a video. Like I have this as lunch, you know, a lot of times, just like the salad place that I go to, I go to a lot of times. It's kind of to show you that if you eat similar things each day that you know you love, that has a decent amount of protein, that's whole food, that's healthy, then you can actually have a very enjoyable diet for yourself while also getting lean and taking out some of the fatigue uh, surrounding calculating calories and protein and things like that. So the main thing you want to do with a salmon nigiri is obviously get a uh, get fresh salmon and ideally you want to make it with like white Japanese rice uh, but today we have you know Korean rice that is not completely white so it won't taste as good as like a like a super white rice uh, salmon nigiri but it's still good this is probably around 250 to 300 calories of rice as you can see it's not fully white this is a pre-made um, sushi vinegar we're gonna whoa. not too much and then just mix this basically mix so that's kind of ready that's the rice ready Just try to cut it how you like it. You want to go cut in a way so that the salmon fat gets preserved because the fat is what makes it taste nice. Look at this. Guarda. Right? And then you cut it diagonally. I don't actually know the nutritional content of salmon that well. I'll have to do some research. I'll show you guys, you know, what the calories and proteins are up to. For but who else likes nigiri? I absolutely love nigiri. I love sashimi as well, obviously, but nigiri is just wow. And look how simple it is. From the moment I started cooking, it's been about three minutes. If the rice is pre-made, of course, if you have to cook the rice, then yeah. 
you want to kind of keep your hands a little uh, wet so that the rice doesn't stick too much to your hands. Then you literally just take this, make it like a little uh, ball, not too much. You don't want to make it like too, too hard in terms of squishing it too hard. And then you just pat it together. Again, don't overdo it. Voila. Everyone's like, oh my God, sushi, how do you make it home? This is how you make it home. Super simple. Is it as good as, you know, Jiro makes sushi? Of course not. But is it still absolutely delicious? Yes. take time to perfect the rice it's very hard to actually mess up the taste of sushi because the rice itself will just melt in your mouth and the fish is almost like just assisting look at all that fat the fat is what makes this taste good Japanese soy sauce wasabi in a tube and then we shall eat this I hope that was informative enough for you to actually uh, be able to make it yourself as well and then what you do is you mix you know the rest right you know you know how it goes from here imagine if this was like tuna belly like total like really really pink not the red tuna nobody likes the red tuna the pink tuna that almost just tastes like there's like a very uplifting taste to the tuna belly that is just insane so you take this you sort of dip the, the fish part into the soy sauce wasabi combination. You look at it and say thank you to all the farmers who died for this. Yes, I really, really didn't have that much protein today, right? So for dinner, I will have a, a, a fat steak. I went jujitsu today, so I'm super hungry. But in the evening, <clears throat> my friends asked me to come play football. So I will also play football. Why is there a zero M sign on the camera? Is it not recording? That would be a shame. It better be recording. My balcony is uh, being redone right now. As you can see. The cat seems to like weird angle but i found that 24 fps if i move the camera it gets all laggy so i should have just shot in 30 frames per second but well it's rather too late now isn't it also in the same position as my cat Molden sea salt. I think this is the best salt. Already back to make dinner. Um, I have some steak here because even though salmon is high in protein and very healthy, I still didn't get enough protein, you know, over 100 to 120 grams today. So I'm trying to top it up with some really good steak, seasoning it. Um, I don't do the whole basting with butter and rosemary and thyme and stuff because even though it's delicious it just bumps up the calories a lot right so th in in that there's probably about I don't know 50 to 60 uh, grams of protein so in total I think with this plus you know the rice and everything it's probably rounding up to about 100 which is not ideal like i want to be getting 120 plus 140 plus if i really want to optimize but 
you know i talk about this in my other videos it's like protein is not the be all and end all of my meals either you know it's a, probably because my goals are not some like the 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 guys that want to get huge the guys that want to be huge bodybuilder looks and just like really really just optimize everything for muscle building like i'm not about that so um i try to <laughs> balance the need for protein with just having you know enjoyable meals balanced healthy and um, i recommend you do the same Off to play some football. Let's go soccer start. Football. <laughs> Okay. 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 Okay.